Hello ladies and gentlemen, today I'll be taking a look at the Master Grade Shenlong Gundam. Um, Bandai is calling this the Endless Waltz version, but I'm pretty sure it's version Kotoki. Uh, it's a version Kotoki, so Hajime Kotoki designed it. Um, so I'll just refer to it as the Verka in this review. Um, please, like, don't get mad at me if I'm mistaken, but uh, that's what I just think. To start off this review, um, I will show you a height comparison to a Gundam marker. And you can see he stands over it, which is nice. Comes with a little Chang Wufei figurine. It's this is the one that has a stand, and then he has an opening cockpit. It's this little red piece here. If you pull it down, there's a little Chang Wufei piloting. It's actually a really nice, simple cockpit, and I quite enjoy it compared to um, other Master Grades like the Wing Zero Custom and. Uh, the Quanto. Oh. Let's quickly take a look at his color scheme. He has blue, yellow, red, gray, and white as his color scheme. He also has several stickers. One for the eyes and three for the cameras. Two in the front and one in the back. He has two stickers on his Dragon Fang which I will show once I get to his accessories. For articulation, this guy is actually really nice. His head has sort of a hinge to ball joint, which allows him to look up and down, uh, go side to side some. Uh, sadly, um, he, he can do 360, but I won't demonstrate it because I'm scared that little tusks on his face will um, break, and he can do the chicken. His arms can go in and out some, not too much, but if you rotate them forward like this, they gain so much more in and out movement. They rotate freely, they go up about that far. The shoulder pad moves independently. There's a rotation below the shoulder. Okay, um, one complaint I do have is it seems that the connection from here to here isn't too strong. Okay, we. Okay, sorry. The connection from here to here isn't too strong, and it, it causes some problems, but they're just minor. Uh, next up, there is a double ball joint, uh, double jointed elbow. So here's the first, and there's the second. It allows for over 90 degrees, but not um, a full 180, just because of the design of how his arm is made. I bet if you modded it though you would get the 180 degrees. Then he just has um, a ball jointed hand with the standard wing hands where it has a ball jointed thumb and then has exchangeable fingers. So I will just quickly show you. He has, uh, here we go, two closed hands, a right and the left, a open grasping hand to grasp your weapons with no peg, then he has two peg holding weapons. One is here, the other one is on him, if I'm not mistaken. And he has another open hand. So yeah. For waist articulation, he has a ball joint here and a ball joint there, which will give, allows for a nice ab crunch. Yeah, he'll rotate freely and go side to side. Each skirt is articulated to get uh, separately on kind of hinge to ball joints, which is actually really nice for when posing in a kneeling position. Um, the side skirts, the blue piece pop pops off sometimes, but it's not too bad. And the back skirts are on a uh, little hinge joints, I guess you could call them. For leg articulation, his leg will go that far Back. Okay, that far, that far in and out, and that far back. His leg, there is a rotation below the um, waist. His leg bends at two points, and there is a little part separation here, as you can see, and then his ankle has a double ball joint and his foot can go side to side 
forward and back, and do the tippy toe. For accessories, he comes with his hilt to the beam trident, which is here. And all you have to do to get the beam trident in it is separate the two top pieces, like so. Then you just insert this in and close them up, and it's just a nice sturdy hold, and it looks really nice. Next up, you have his shield, which connects via this little insert here, and it rotates. Added a few decals, just pegs onto the arm with a nice sturdy connection, and it looks pretty cool. Now the reason probably why I is uh, for his um, dragon fang, which I will show here. It is all white and you can see the two emerald green eye stickers. It connects via this little piece here, which can be rotated like so, so that it can be held on his arm in the back. It's a all right connection. I went, it's not too sturdy, but you know, it does the job. And you can actually rotate it downwards and it's down like um like it 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 um is acting as his dragon fang and then you just rotate these pieces out like so his mouth open make sure this is connected in there so it doesn't fall out and then last but not least it pulls out and there's a pretty menacing dragon fang that I think just looks awesome and is a much improved dragon fang as what I've seen on the 1 to 100's non-grade it always falls over this one has no problem holding it up so that's an improvement so what are my final thoughts on this kit I really enjoyed this kit it was a nice fun build um, some of the connection points are a bit faulty and a kind of loose, but, you know, I can't really complain on that because the rest of the figure is really, really nice. Um, one thing that I wish Bandai really improved on is, um, uh, what, the connector points. Like, I, I, I understand, but I wish they had, a, a kind of a polycap joint in there somehow, because one flick and it's falling off. Um, except for that, they really, Bandai did a really good job hiding the nubs, and I, I just think Bandai did a great job overall with this kit, um, and it's a great improvement to his show form. So yeah, for Bandai's asking price of, Zach, of 308, 3,800 yen, um, I say go out and buy this. I, I would recommend this as uh, one of the best master grades that I have. This is the best master grade I have. Um, so yeah, go out and get it. It's pretty cheap and it's a great deal for its price. So yeah, that's about it. See you guys.